so hello everybody welcome back to another video of little scratchers today we're going to be continuing our swimmer game that we started two weeks ago anyways let me just show you what we did in the last video and what we are going to do today so in the last video we made this swimmer move around and make him not touch the sand and we also gave him a little nice animation that shows that he is swimming and today we are going to be making the obstacles bit of the game that is there are going to be some obstacles coming from here all the way to here and the player should dodge that so as you can see we have four costumes in our obstacles we have the pikachu my favorite the ball the bottle and the camera so what uh what happens is when we are gonna use the obstacles we will make the obstacles turn into different costumes like sometimes you get a ball sometimes you get a bottle sometimes you get a pikachu and sometimes you get a camera so this pick random block is gonna help in doing that and another thing we have to note is that we are not gonna use the actual sprite we're gonna make clones of the sprite and gonna use that clones uh, so that the player can dodge them so it's not the real object it's the clones that we are working on so let's get started and let's start with our code of the video first code of the video when the green flag is clicked forever wait one second and this create clone of myself is the superhero of this game and this wait one second uh it's it's gonna remain constant forever so what are we gonna do we're gonna pick random uh let's say one two three uh you can plug in any values in the uh in this uh it's your choice so just so that i make it a bit tougher i'm gonna change that to one and three and we're gonna create the clone of ourselves i mean the obstacles and we need the clone to get to work so that's uh, that block is right here when i start as a clone so there's a whole difference between when the green flag is clicked and when i start as a clone the when green flag clicked triggers the blocks below it only if the green flag is clicked whereas the when i start as clone triggers the blocks below it when a clone of the sprite is created so now we don't need the when green flag click to execute the uh, code for the clone we are going to use this block right here so let's say when i start as a clone we're gonna go to the extreme left edge that is somewhere around here let's see yep somewhere around there that is 246 negative 5 so 246 and negative 5 we actually don't care about the y so we're gonna just take it to zero because afterwards we're gonna change the y uh to make the game tougher so now let's uh pick a random costume because as i said we're gonna have different costumes so let's say pick random one to four the reason we are giving one to four is it has only four costumes so pick random one in the sense it's pikachu and four in the sense it is the camera <coughs> sorry and now uh what are we gonna do is we're gonna just um say repeat until we are 
I mean like uh, our uh, exposition is greater than negative 230 so we're gonna repeat until this uh, the obstacles come to the right hand side and then uh, we are gonna repeat this code right here we're gonna change the x by negative 4 negative 7 negative 9 negative 10 if you want to make it harder negative 15 maybe but I'm gonna go with negative 4 so now what are we gonna do after it has touched the edge we're gonna obviously delete that clone so we will plug in the delete this clone now let's try it out uh, I'm so sorry this is I think this is supposed to go over here and uh, we're gonna hide the actual sprite and show the clone so there we go we got our first thing the bottle as you can see it hides as it goes to the left but now as you can see it's going very very you know it's going in the same line which makes it very easy because I can just stay down below there and not get hurt so that is a problem so how do we overcome that problem so we can use two blocks over here the pick random or the backdrop of stage which we will change it later so the pick random block if we put it in the y position it picks a random block a uh, random position like if i say 81 to negative 81 then it's gonna pick it from 81 to negative 81 and uh, that's very very random or we can use this block which is the backdrop of stage if we change it to swimmer we can change it to y position of swimmer and we can use this one so this one is the is what makes the game really tough because the clone is going to be created in the y position of the swimmer so it's like the swimmer and the obstacle are right facing facing uh let me just show that to you you know if i stay here the obstacle is gonna come from here if i go up the, the next obstacle is gonna come here if i go down it's gonna come here this is this makes the game a lot tougher and therefore the user will get more entertained in playing the game so I think the obstacles are going a bit too slow so I'm gonna change that to negative 6 and now let's test the game now as you can see it's going so fast and it's very great to play actually now the game is beginning to form and one more thing uh, if you have noticed is that if you touch uh, the if the if the obstacle touch the player nothing happens so for that we put an R block and say if uh, if uh, the clone of the obstacle is touching the swimmer or it's or its x position is less than negative 230 then we delete this clone so we plug in right there and now if you see if we touch it goes away touch again goes away touch again goes away so that's what we wanted and now we i thought of giving an animation to the swimmer if it gets hurt uh, so i mean like if the obstacle is touching so let's just put, uh, go to the swimmer and take a when green flag is clicked forever if you're touching the obstacles that is the clone of the obstacle you're gonna repeat 10 times wait 0 0.5 and before the weight 0 
you're gonna put the set brightness to 30 so it's gonna be so bright so let's change that to 10 Uh, maybe we'll just set it to 20 yep 20 is the best thing and now uh, we're gonna just duplicate this put that below and put zero right here we're gonna repeat this five times so let's see as you can see it's giving a uh an invisible kind of anima animation if you have seen in some games if you get hit there will be this uh blinking and flashing of the player character so that animation is going to be used in here so we'll put that right there and we'll also add another variable called lives and we'll change the lives by negative one and at the start of the game you set the lives to uh let's say five or if you want you can have four or three or you know it's your choice so now if you click uh as you can see it's getting uh, flashed and also the lives get down this is a very good thing and now what we are going to do is we are going to make droplets of water rep represent the lives so i'm going to take that from my backpack i'll just take that out and there you go we have a droplet of water representing the lives just give me a second so guys i'm back uh, i'm so sorry for that interruption cause you know i had a phone call so yeah so now we're gonna make this water represent the life so uh, as you can see uh, we have five costumes in our water we have one two three four and five so now we're gonna put that right there and we'll start with five then four three two and one so to do that what are we gonna do is we're gonna say when the green flag is clicked forever and here's the smart thing we do switch costume to whatever the lives so if you say five we got five four it'll change back three two and one and finally we get a zero now it gets back to five but that's not what we wanted so what we are gonna do is we're gonna add another blank costume and call the zero and now if we try we will see the result and also notice that if we are invisible the we don't lose any lives while we are invisible so yeah now if you can see we got zero and there we go but if you put negative one that's it so we need to stop the game at zero so what we do is in this forever loop if E take the equal to block if lives is equal to zero then we're gonna stop all for now we'll just click on stop all uh in the next video we're gonna look at how we can nicely stop the game so there we go we got our game almost done very nice and we are uh, gonna add some more bits in the next video so till then stay safe stay at home uh, because it's the corona time so yeah so now make sure to like share and subscribe to learn scratchers there are also so many tutorials i've made in my channel so check them out and that's
that's it.